What is going on guys, it is the Manager King, thank you for stopping by on the channel, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today guys, I'm going to be talking about the 5 things I think Call of Duty 2017 needs in order to be successful. I could have made this video into a top 10, top 15, top 20 for God's sake, but I want to narrow this down into top 5. So the top 5 things I think Call of Duty 2017 needs in order to be successful. Without further ado guys, make sure to drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the Call of Duty content. As always, let's just get right into this video. So before I get into the video i just want to say anything to do with supply drops guys is not going to be in the video or on the list because let's face it supply drops are going to be in every call of duty so there's really no point in me putting in the video or on the list so starting off the first thing is going to be make sure the game is complete when i say this i mean make sure all the features are 100 percent ready before launch day for example infinite warfare just received their leaderboards like two weeks ago and the game has been out for a while and not only that the combat record is still not in the game and a lot of fans got very angry with them during the year and that's something that has to be fixed for next year the next thing is going to be a timely beta release i think it's safe to say that we're going to be receiving a beta because it increases pre-order sales for the game but something i want to point out is infinite warfare's beta i hate to even call it a beta because this was more like a demo i call it a demo because this so-called beta was released two weeks before the game came out and let's all be honest two weeks isn't enough to make changes and fixes to the game now black ops 3's beta was perfect because it took place in the summer so treyarch had plenty of time to get feedback from players and then fix some so that the game would be ready before launch i also think sledgehammer games and activision should consider opening up this beta to the public because they have to win back a lot of fans who stopped playing call of duty due to past games that had a futuristic setting like infinite warfare this would also be good because it would give everyone the chance to play the game and then sledgehammer games would have more feedback from fans and players. This is probably the most important year we ever had for Call of Duty just because of where the franchise is at. A lot of players lost hope in Call of Duty and just stopped playing their games. So Call of Duty 2017 has to be good and I think opening up the beta to the public is the very first step to letting players have access to trying out this fresh new boots on the ground Call of Duty. Number three is going to have to be make the multiplayer as simple as possible. When I say this I mean don't go overboard with the multiplayer customization features like create a class, weapons, and just stuff like that this brings me into saying don't have weapon variants i think weapon variants are dumb and somewhat unfair and i think the majority of fans who play call of duty would prefer having one base weapon and that's it as well the creative class should be a pick 10 system this is the system that we saw back in black ops 2 and black ops 3 the reason black ops 3 and black ops 2 was so successful is because their games were very simple so having a pick 10 creative class system will help out with this topic Moving right along, number four is going to be have the game in a unique game setting. By this, I mean the game has to take place in some time period that we haven't gone to yet. So having the game take place during the Vietnam War would definitely work because we haven't had a Call of Duty during that uh, time period. Or I could say we haven't had a Call of Duty solely based during the Vietnam War. Especially that we know that we're having a boots on the ground game, it's especially important for Sledgehammer Games to pick a unique game setting for Call of Duty 2017. Last but not least, Theater Mode. So Theater Mode unfortunately wasn't in Infinite Warfare or Advanced Warfare, but it was in Black Ops 3. Theater Mode is great for players to look at epic moments they got in game. It's also really helpful for youtubers like myself who want to record a good gameplay or match that they had so they can use it in their videos it's also good for making thumbnails as well overall theater mode brought so much for content creators and just ordinary players who just played the game for what it was but theater mode honestly should be in the next call of duty and every call of duty from here on out but guys that is the top five things i think call of duty 2017 needs in order to be successful some are really small things but will impact the game overall in the long run but guys make sure to drop a like on the video don't forget to subscribe for daily call of duty content as always have yourself a fantastic day peace out everyone